with Halloween and the holidays, the uh, Thanksgiving approaching, I thought it'd be fun to make some little pumpkins out of roving. And I'm going to show you how to make these. First, you're going to need scrap yarn, leftovers, wool roving, pantyhose, an embroidery needle, embroidery floss in dark orange and green, a pair of scissors. Okay, I'm a knitter, so I always have lots of leftover oddballs of yarn. So I like to use up my yarn by rolling small balls. I've rolled this one already, so um, this will be my base for my roving ball. And um, when the roving goes on, it'll just shrink down tight onto this, so it won't change a whole lot in size. Pretty much just add, imagine like another quarter inch onto this will be your finished ball size. So you take roving, this is merino wool roving, and you're going to grab it in one hand and pull gently a little tuft and lay them out in one direction. And just keep pulling little tufts, I'm going to spread these out a little bit until you get probably like about you know, 8 or 9 inches across. And then you're going to cross in the opposite direction. Lay them at a 90 degree angle. This will be until you have a blanket that's maybe, you know, about a half inch to, you know, a quarter inch to half inch thick. So you can't really see through it. You want it to be kind of a, like you push down, see it. That's fairly soft. Pick it up and place it in your hand. Take your yarn ball, put it in the center and you're just going to wrap the roving around it so that your ball is all ni nicely wrapped up in the roving. And you hold it firmly in your hand and I have a pantyhose started already with a couple balls in it. Just kind of push it to the end so it's all snug. Make sure all the roving is up against the ball and pull it tight and take a little piece of scrap yarn and tie a knot around it. And so you can just keep adding balls, nice little caterpillar going and uh, then we're going to throw these into the washing machine. I'm going to set it at the lowest water level. I'm going to set it at the hottest water temperature and then a regular wash cycle. The roving balls are in the wash and I'm just going to add a small amount of detergent, like maybe about a spoonful. And then close it up and let it go. Okay, when the roving caterpillar comes out of the wash, you'll see these little fuzzies all peeking through the pantyhose. So that's how you know that, that it's working. So what we're going to do is snip the pieces of yarn. and pull back the pantyhose, kind of peeling out the ball. So it sounds a little ball will kind of stick a little bit, but just kind of gently pull it out and give it a little roll in your hands to smooth the fibers down. Okay, you're going to take your needle and find the center of your ball and push it through from one side directly through to the other. And when you pull your yarn, your thread through, you have a knot, and you're just going to give it a little tug, and you'll hear it pop inside, and that will make your knot hidden inside the ball. So you're going to take your needle, and you know, wrap your thread around, and you're going to put your needle back in that hole that you started from. And then you're going to push it through to the other side, coming out the same hole at the top. and give it a little tug. And you're going to wrap it directly around the other side and hold it with your thumb. Put the needle through, coming back up the top. Give it a little tug so that it kind of pulls in the sides. Now you're going to go at a 90 degree angle around it. 
so that your base will come back in the bottom. So you're basically going to make a cross on it and come back on the other side. So now you have four sections. Now you're going to basically divide these four sections in half. So when you get to the end, and you've pulled your needle through, you need to make a little knot. So I'm just going to take a little stitch on one of those sections and make a knot right there. And then with my finger, pull it down close so the knot stays real close in. And then I'm going to put my needle back through the center of the pumpkin and pull it out the other side, pulling it down. And then kind of snug up that. You can take a little stitch real close to the pumpkin and the, the end of the string will just pull right back inside. So now to make a stem for hanging, if you want to hang your pumpkin, take some embroidered flossing green and put your needle through the bottom. Come out the top. And remember to pull that knot right through, kind of pop it into the center of the ball. And then you may take your hand and usually I loop it around my fingers and go back in and take like a little stitch right here at the top into the pumpkin and tie a knot right there. To secure the handle. And then Take your needle back through the pumpkin, out the other side, and pull it tight and snip your string, and you have a nice little pumpkin.